Oh, boys and girls, it is 4.42 a.m. We've been awake for exactly 42 minutes. Where are we going? To Disneyland in Village Paris. We're off to Disneyland. <laughs> We are up before the sun is up. I know the camera makes it look like it's kind of light. Look at the lights on the trees. That's the proof that it's still dark. We are at the Eurotunnel terminal. Um, there's the place where if you're up at a reasonable time, you get all the coffee and breakfast and things, but they're obviously not open yet. So we just stood here waiting for that board to tell us we can board our train at 6.20. We've got a wait of probably 30 or 40 minutes and then we can jump on the train. Sat nav in the car currently tells us we're gonna to get to our Disney hotel at 9.05 a.m. That obviously doesn't take into account the hour that will be added on for the time change, the hour that we're gonna wait here, the 40 or so minutes we're gonna be on the train. We can't check into that hotel until three o'clock. We are planning on going swimming first, but if we were to turn up there at 9.05 a.m., carnage would ensue as we would have very little to do to fill those six hours but I think by the time we've faffed around here for a bit and then had two or three stops on the drive over we should be good. Well it's just about to hit 6am which means it's nearly two hours since the alarm went off we're still what? we're still yes. sat at the uh, Euro tunnel um, Anna's just spent her entire holiday spending budget on makeup at Duty Free, which I wasn't <laughs> expecting to be open at this hour. Duty Free's not, well, last time we came, Duty Free wasn't open before 6 a.m., but we are just now waiting to board. We're on the train. It's 6 30 now. We've been up two and a half hours. Still I am ready for a sleep. Yeah, we've not had any breakfast. We, uh, we're we not going to be in France until, I mean, it'll be nearly 8 30 local time in France once we get there. <laughs> it feels like we've got up very early when we were sat in the queue waiting to come on. Um, a guy just pulled up next to us literally 90 seconds before we boarded the train. It's like that guy knows what he's doing. He has arrived here five past six gone straight through, just got on the train. He knows his onions, whereas we have been no, here. No, 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 not we, you. Well, we have been here since <laughs> we arrived at like probably 5.45, no, like 5 a.m.-ish we arrived here. And it's, oh, I'm tired and hungry. You need to stop with your, get up and fall. I guarantee if we'd have tried to get here for six, for a 6.20 train, we wouldn't have got on the train until like 8.30, because that's just how that's things true. work for us. <laughs> station ham and cheese sandwich we'll have a pleasant and it is 906 local time so that would be 806 back in the UK so four and a bit hours after we woke up we're probably half an hour into driving in France we've got about two and a half hours to go we'll have this food we'll no doubt have at least one more stop and that should get us to Disney or get us to our hotel around about 12, 12 30 is which is what we're aiming at. So that then gives us a couple of hours to go swimming, get ourselves sorted out before we can check into the room at three o'clock. It's all going to plan. Cut to the next scene where it's all gone wrong. It's quite tiring getting up at 4 a.m. and then driving a lot. It's half past 10. We've just had to stop for second coffee of the day. 
if my cardiologist is watching I promise I'll only have one more we're about still another hour and a half's drive away from Disneyland but the most important thing and the reason for this clip is I just used a coffee machine because obviously I'm English I was afraid to ask for a coffee in the cafe in there so I went to the machine but the coffee machine dispensed Biscoff biscuits that's the best coffee machine in the history of the world So this time to the Aqua Lagoon than we were when we came three years ago. I think we're in an apartment down this end. So in this bit here, there's a parade of shops and restaurants and things down there. The head of me there, we have the Aqua Lagoon, the swimming pool. <laughs> Yeah, why is the swimming pool empty? <laughs> why is it empty? <laughs> I guess we've only got the indoor bit. Oh, I'm sad. All that was swimming pool last time. Panic over, there was still plenty of outside that is open. I think it's just part of it over there, it's shut. Um, in other news, Anna fell over in the changing rooms no, completely I, on her own. No, I did not. What did you do, Kevin? I slipped I grabbed, and I grabbed, grabbed the nearest me. object to stop myself falling and getting injured again. At which point, Anna, completely independently of this, yeah, did the splits. <laughs> which I didn't know she could do, but apparently she can. And we are straight in the rapids, because the rapids are the best part of this entire hotel. It does hurt my injured knee, having them bent down the whole time, but it'll be fine. Swimming's good for injuries. <laughs> this is rapid. Well, who's an idiot then? I don't know if you just saw any footage of the swimming. I don't know if you saw any footage from the journey here in the car because we were halfway round the rapids when I realised I didn't have the little cover on the GoPro that covers the, uh, the USB ports and stuff. And I said to Anna, that's not good. I don't think it's waterproof without that on. And then I tried to turn it on. Oh, I think we've broken two cameras in two days and haven't even made it into Disneyland yet, which is good. I mean, that's, I hope that's not something we keep up for the rest of the week. Only two broken cameras on a trip is manageable. Any more than that is a problem. In other news, we managed about an hour and a half in the pool of the three hours that we've got to kill. So it's now not even half past two. We can't get in our room till four. So we're going to head over here. We're all very hungry. We're going to head over there. Hopefully there's a restaurant we can go and grab some food in and waste some time in. <laughs> oh, we are all starving hungry and quite tired now and would quite like to get in the room have something to eat and have a little nap but not on the agenda currently unfortunately well we've walked into the first restaurant that we saw on the way back from this room pool we're about a minute and a half away welcome house. having burgers i know the rules of social media dictate i was supposed to show you my food before i started eating it but i was so hungry look at that though lovely old chicken burger and a beef burger that's the burger place we went to. Pretty good. Right, I think it's just come three o'clock. We still have about an hour to kill, but the place where we picked the keys up from is all the way over there, between here and there. There's a shop we need to go to to grab some stuff for Andy. Also a bowling alley that I might try and distract him with so that we can, uh, <laughs> so that we can keep him amused until four o'clock when we can get into our room. Finally, 12 hours after we woke up in England in a hotel room. We are in our hotel room 
in France. Time for a tour. On first inspection, it looked very similar to the one we had last time. So if you watched our Disneyland videos three years ago, you'll know the layout. This time, because it's just the three of us, that's going to be Andy's room. And then in here, we have a shower room. Toilet. Um, nothing. Various wardrobe situations. Hoover, hooks, mirror with fuse board behind it. Nice to have that accessible. Um, this is mine and Anna's room, complete with television situation, which brings us through to our little ensuite washroom, which doesn't have a toilet in it, which is mad, really. And then we've got our little shower area, jacuzzi bath comes through here that's where we just were with andy's room down the end there we have the kitchen with the infamous french mugs that have no handles which we'll be having a coffee in in a moment um all of your usual amenities large fridge toaster very important oven microwave I've, i want to say there's an oven i don't see an oven so maybe he's not having fish fingers, which we did see in the shop, unless you can microwave them. Hmm. Uh, but we do have a toaster, various coffee making equipments, eating area, additional bed, which we don't need. We can convert that back into a sofa for the evenings. Another TV, which Andy is currently filming, a little seating area. And then out onto the balcony, which is quite large. Anna has already found herself a chair to sit in. We can make friends with these people and with these people because the balconies are so close together and we have a nice view out over the rest of the resort got the uh the last six pack of water in the shop back at the hotel no idea if it's still or sparkling mystery water but more important than that there we have a lesser spotted anna up on our balcony can i throw this up to you Guess I'm carrying it all the way around then. So, 5 p.m. French time, so 4 p.m. UK time, exactly 12 hours after the alarm went off this morning. I am finally sat on the balcony with a cold beverage and the holiday officially begins 29 hours after we left home. <laughs> ah, flying would probably be easier. Then we wouldn't be able to bring all the stuff. They're both asleep. I've just been to the shop, which is why I'm a sweaty mess, because I've just had to carry all our stuff for the week from the shop back to here. I'll let them wake up, feed Andy. So I've actually found some fish fingers. And then, fingers crossed, the plan is still to head into the Disney Village this evening, do a little bit of shopping, because I love all that, and he doesn't have much patience for it. So, as tomorrow is a park day, I figured, Let's get into some shops tonight, but we need to build his patience levels back up first. So I'm not complaining. I get to sit on the balcony and do nothing while they sleep, which is very pleasant. Yes, I'm naked right now, but this can't wait. This shower, greatest shower ever. I will be showering five times a day while we're here. We have a shower up top. We have a shower just there. My undercarriage is cleaner than it's ever been, that's for sure. This sandwich on this balcony, better than any holiday beer photo you like put all over the internet. That is perfect. Proper French bread, lovely smoky ham, lovely, lovely cheese, and mystery crisps, which I assumed were going to be plain because they're called L'Original. I'm now thinking there may be cheese and onion. I love mystery crisps. Anna's playing with her duty free makeup. Oh, oh, and do I wish you could smell me. She got me some duty free shower gel. What was it? Molten brown, Molten brown shower gel, which I don't know what those words mean, but I smell like a prince. Well, <laughs> after what can only be described as a stressful afternoon with all that waiting around, we have got ourselves settled in, got ourselves freshened up. Had a little bit of something to eat. And now we are heading out for the main event of the episode. 
we're heading to the Disney Village to have a mooch around the shops and try and find some of this 30th anniversary merch, if there's any left. Well, we have made it into the Disney Village. Now let's go and see what goodies we can find. Some goodies. Go see Mr. Potato Head, make your own potato head. Hello. That is awesome. I make your own Mr. Potato Head. A little bit of Star Trek stuff in here as well. Wars to you too. Oh, there is a lot of 30th anniversary goodies knocking around in this doorway already. I need to come back and have a proper look at this when I can have a proper explore. I have my 30th anniversary coin. Now I'm happy. Machines! Much better than queuing up. Right, we are doing our traditional first night hat shopping for Andy. What hat do you like the look of? Hey Andy, look, there's this one. <laughs> well, there's a Marvel one, some very cool Marvel ones. Do you want one with ears on? Do you want one with ears on? Hold on, we're still looking around the shop. We're not paying yet. Will that fit? Is that big enough? Yeah, it's got a thing on it. Okay. So we're getting that one instead. Where's Jesse? <laughs> I have that pillow at home. I found the Marvel section. inexplicably not reduced Eternals figures. Obviously a lot of them, as you would imagine. It's Rocket! Anna, Groot costume, for you. Okay, that is cool. I am uh, I am coming for a toy hunt in a day or two. I need to remember to pick one of those up. But for now, I need to keep up with those two. Show me what hat you chose then. Yeah. So look. Wow. Oh, I had cardboard in. No wonder it didn't fit right. There you go. Excellent. We have come down to look at the balloon. Um, I don't know. It doesn't look like it's working. Not a chance I'm going up in that thing. Uh, we've just come down to hang out down here. He is very tired and not very interested in all the busy shops and noisy stuff up there. So Anna is. Uh, we will do. Mummy's just looking in some shops at the moment. So we've just come to sit down here so Anna can have a, uh, a rummage through all the shops and then later in the week I'm going to leave them at the hotel and I'm going to come down and have a rummage through the shops. So we both get to have a rummage and he doesn't have to rummage. He's anti-rummaging at the moment. The collector in me thinks I need to come back and get another bottle of pop and another bottle of water with Disneyland Paris written on the side. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm having an ice cream. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> Andy's eye was caught by the Lego shop, and I was not going to argue. But yeah, all the different Lego. Oh, boys and girls, it may only be 9 p.m., but I've been up so long and done so much that my watch is telling me that it needs to charge because it's about to die. It'll be a while, it'll be out after these videos. Yeah. Um, so yeah, at some point in June sometime, I guess, when this little series of videos is done, there'll be some videos on Andy's channel from his perspective as well, but I can't possibly give him the exclusive. That's just not how these things work. So they'll come out um, either the same day as these, like an hour later per day, or if he insists on it being one video like he does sometimes, he'll have to wait until the series is done in like June time. Uh, but it's bedtime, it's nine o'clock. It is bedtime, I'm walking around just in my underpants. I am a broken man. I'm so glad I don't have to edit this. 
We should have had an editor. If I had an editor all the way through, who knows, we may never have stopped vlogging. We still would have stopped vlogging. Oh. See you tomorrow, folks. Disneyland tomorrow. What is it tomorrow? My birthday. It's Anna's birthday as well. So at some point in tomorrow's video, I have to sneak off and buy Anna a birthday Very present. Nice. We're taking her to the Pirates of the Caribbean restaurant as a birthday treat. Um, but I need to find her a present as well. Because that's what you wanted. See you tomorrow, folks, or next week. But tomorrow for us. This is complicated. <laughs>